a lot of storylines to go along with the Super Bowl. We have two brothers in it, Jason Kelsey, Travis Kelsey, both in the top tier in their position. First Super Bowl with two black quarterbacks, clashing in styles of play. The Eagles have the more well-rounded team, but the Chiefs aren't anything to sneeze at. They have Hall of Famers too. Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Andy Reid. And let's not sleep on the offensive coordinator, Eric Bieniemy. He's fired. Very creative. Andy Reid used to be the head coach of the Eagles. Did a great job there. Gets the boot, comes to Kansas City, dominates. He's now going to five AFC championships in a row. That is incredible. I love the fact that the Kelsey brothers are playing each other this year. And it's not because they have a new great podcast and YouTube channel. New Heights. Very good. I recommend checking it out. They are hilarious. I also love that Jason Kelsey supported his brother and wore Chiefs memorabilia until the second the Chiefs won. Takes all that off, throws on the Eagles gear, as he should, because he's coming here to take down little brother. Can't be supporting him when you're going against him. Before then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your win, little bro, but as soon as we're on equal playing fields, you're going down. It's going down like the Catalina wine mixer. Speaking of two brothers, this is more like two brothers. I can't take credit for that joke. Shout out to Acho on Speak. That was his joke. Two brothers. Had to snag that. The week of the championship games, I had a follower let me know that it was possible that we could have two black quarterbacks in the Super Bowl. I hadn't even thought of that. But now that it's come to be, it's kind of crazy. A lot of you may not know, but that used to be an outlandish thought. For a long time, black people were not considered smart enough to play quarterback, but then we got Michael Vick and McNabb, Cam Newton, Lamar Jackson. The NFL has changed a lot. The formula for winning has changed a lot. These are two different styles of playing, and black quarterbacks come in all different shapes and sizes. Patrick Mahomes, one of the best magicians in and out of the pocket I have ever seen. Throws across his body. Mechanics you would think would never work. Like, no, 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 why are you throwing that? And then you're like, well, I guess you could throw that because it was an 80-yard touchdown to Tyree Hill. And Jalen Hurts has evolved as a passer. He doesn't just use his legs, but he is dangerous on the ground. It has been said that a running quarterback just can't get it done. Vic, McNabb, Cam Newton, Lamar Jackson. But if Jalen Hurts wins the Super Bowl, I do think that that's big for the running quarterback because they've gotten there, Cam Newton, Colin Kaepernick, but they haven't won it. Getting there is one thing. Winning the championship is a complete other animal. So I think this is big for both quarterbacks. So who has the most to gain in this Super Bowl? Is it Jalen Hurts? Or is it Patrick Mahomes? For Patrick Mahomes, he already has one Super Bowl, but he also has a Super Bowl loss. With another loss, he would be one and two when people would start treating him like he's LeBron James. Oh, well, he's starting to rack up those Super Bowl losses. I I guess it would have been better if he never made it there. The logic behind that is outrageous to me, but whatever. But if he wins it, he's two and one. He's got two MVPs. That puts him in a list of like three quarterbacks that have ever done it wild this would also get Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid one step closer to Tom Brady and Bill Belichick they have a long road to go but another Super Bowl win definitely gets them closer and as for Jalen Hurts he's fighting for a contract he's shown that not only is he a great leader but he's also a great quarterback he's improved his passing exponentially this year and he's always dangerous with his legs I think you'll get a new contract no matter what. But how big is that contract? You win the Super Bowl, uh, that number might jump up a few mil. This is the first Super Bowl in a while where I don't really care who wins. I like the Eagles. It's been a great story. Jalen Hurts has been incredible. I'm happy to see how great he played this year. Yeah, they had an easy schedule, but you can only play the people in front of you. So for everybody saying they're not battle tested, I don't think they are, but that's not their fault. They did what you're supposed to do when you're playing inferior talent. They dominated them. What more can you ask for? Let's pick the Super Bowl. Against the spread, of course. The Eagles are one and a half point favorites over the Kansas City Chiefs. Give me the Chiefs in this one. I think that 
The Eagles have the better all-around team. But on the other side is Patrick Mahomes. The Eagles are a great team, but they haven't been battle-tested. I think that this is going to be a close back-and-forth affair. For the Eagles to win, I think they're going to need to keep Patrick Mahomes off the field, so they're going to run the ball. But if this game is close, like I think it should be, Patrick Mahomes, game-winning drive, takes him down the field, kicks a field goal for the dub. 27-24. Kansas City Chiefs. So who do you have in the Super Bowl?